Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something super fun. Today my husband actually drew me a nail design and that's what we're going to be creating today. When I took my last round of submissions for the series, my husband was like, can I submit one? And I was like, yeah, totally. And so today I'm going to be creating his design. Before we get too far into it, thank you so much McCart for sponsoring this video. You guys are gonna see me use tons of poly gel today because I have a lot of sculpting to do. I know I haven't shown you guys the design yet, but it's gonna need a lot of poly gel. If you like any of the McCart products I'm using today and want to try them out, you can find them at any of these sites depending on which one suits you better. And everything is linked down below, of course. You can also use my discount code Emily Susanna for 15% off your entire purchase on any of those sites. Thank you again, McCart, for sponsoring this video. I'm really excited. So let's do a quick little rundown of what's going to be happening for this week and next week. This week, this video, I am going to be creating the nail design that my husband drew for me. And then for next week's video, I am going to be redoing the nails that he did on me, but hopefully I can do them more to what he was thinking in his head. Here's a quick reminder of what those nails were. And then also in that video, I'm going to be showing you how I do his nails. Normally, I probably would try to cram all of this into one video, but you guys have been really sweet telling me if I need to take a break, I can. But I don't really want to take a break, but it would definitely be nice to maybe not sh try to shove so much into one video. So thank you guys for being so understanding about that. So this sort of concept involving my husband's designs is going to just be broken up into two videos, but hopefully they'll still be good videos. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get on to the design that he did. When he showed me this, I was like, how am I gonna do that? I don't know where this came from within him or if he just wanted to just give me the hardest thing that he could think of, but here is his design. It is all basically dessert themed and really 3D. We have like five designs total to do on this one hand and I'm honestly really excited, but I'm also really scared because this is a lot of 3D and all the notes he left, it's just, I feel like I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time, but I'm still really excited to try this. So after all of that rambling, let's get into it. So I'm sat down to do this and I flipped the picture because I'm actually doing it on this hand and it was done this way, but I can just switch back and forth to read the notes that he left me, it's, but we're gonna be doing on this hand and I wanted everything to be like the right way. So essentially we're gonna do sort of one nail at a time. My brain doesn't have the ability to like do a little bit on each one at a time. I just have to do one at a time. So we're gonna start off with our cotton candy nail. The notes he put for this was, this part is glossy with purple glitter and then this was matte. So let's get into that. First, I obviously need to put on a nail. The first shape I'm gonna use for this is the tapered stiletto from Eno Couture. And I'm just going to put the prep on. You guys see me do this every time. <laughs> I do already have a base coat on my nails, so I'm just going to rub that really well with alcohol. Also, my neighbors are having a party, and so if you can hear that music, I am so sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Then I'm just gonna pop it on using some gel. If you're seeing this here, by the way, and you're like, where is that hand coming from? It's not, it's my mouth. I'm holding it with my mouth. Okay, nail ready, so we're just going to buff that a tiny bit so that we can make sure that it sticks well. Then we're gonna use a base coat all over the entire thing because we really want it to stick. I felt like it would be truly tragic if I did this cotton candy nail without using my own gels from my kit. The only problem is that this color sort of looks like a mix between these two, but my husband is also colorblind and I know he has trouble with purple. So I'm almost thinking that it might be purple, especially since he says purple glitter. So I'm gonna go with the grape floss one. To prepare for our poly gel, I'm gonna get some rubbing alcohol. You guys can also use a base coat as a sort of slip, but it just makes it really slippery. So I recommend to just use some rubbing alcohol. And I got this new dish from Ellen Nailed It. She just sent me a package and look at how cute this is. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna have this off to the side. Also gonna use my own brush. So this is pretty 3D. So I'm just going to start by that basically just sort of building it up because I do think that this is going to be a bit higher than normal and really just do some blobs. 
So I'm just going to put this all over the bottom here as a base. It is going to be thicker, definitely. These are not going to be thin nails by any means. But I just wanna make sure that all of the nail underneath is for the most part fully covered. Okay, and then this is our base for this because now I basically am just going to want to put small bits of poly gel and sort of make them into circles. So I'm gonna cure this. Now it's time to sort of do like the, the puffs, the circles parts. This is probably going to be a little bit harder. I don't feel like there's really that much I'll be able to do in terms of smoothing it once it's cured either. So I need to make sure that while I'm doing this, it's exactly how I want it. I think that looks pretty good. I don't want to smooth it down too much. It looks like my nail has a pimple. Okay, I think this is gonna have to be a trust the process sort of thing. I hope it turns out okay. I probably should also mention that my kit is no longer available. It was limited edition. So this is unfortunately not something that you can get, but I just felt like it would be a shame to not use like my cotton candy themed poly gels on a cotton candy design. I think that David did this design because I've been telling him I want to do more like sculpting with poly gel and he was like, okay. And so I think when I told him that he remembered. Okay, it's looking okay. Except this hair. I feel like there's hair in everything I do. That's what happens when you have four dogs. Okay, I'm gonna cure that <laughs> once again. I feel like it looks a little weird now, but we'll be able to work with it. I want the poly gel to come a little, like I want it to sort of like cover up the cuticle part right there. I'm gonna try to maybe tape my skin right there so that I'm not curing any poly gel or anything on it, but so that I can go past that area a tiny bit if that makes sense. This is just washi tape, by the way. I use this for my makeup, like to do sort of like sharp, sharp eyeliner and everything like that. I always use it. And I feel like I love it because it's so gentle and it like won't pull at your eyes or anything like that when you take it off. Hopefully you guys know what I'm like trying to do because I don't want to cure any like poly gel on my skin. You don't want to do that. That's how you're going to start to you get like contact dermatitis or start to develop a allergy. So I'm just going to cover up my skin right there. Nice. So that way I can put like a blob here, here sort of like going over and I don't have to super worry about that. I've been sort of using a lot of rubbing alcohol to sort of let the poly gel almost not dissolve, but become super thin in some of it and just sort of fill in those gaps. Cause I feel like I don't want super defined puffs here. I probably will go in with maybe just like a little bit of gel or something and fill those in just so it looks puffy, but not like a bunch of individual blobs. You know, shout out if you work at Sonic and you put out a bunch of cherries in someone's drink when they ask for them, you're a real one. And then I'm probably gonna go also in and like fill in like little side things because I want it to look good from like all angles. I feel like if you're gonna do like sculpting, it can't just look good from the top. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but I think once we put that on and sort of fill in a little bit, it, it'll be fine. And then I'm just gonna do a couple little itty bitty ones right here. Try to just make sure we like really make a nice big poof. Also, don't even ask me how I'm gonna take these nails off. It's gonna be a lot of filing. Lots and lots and lots of filing. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm sure you guys can see there's a couple little air bubbles. So I'm gonna just tap the smallest amount in there and I'm going to really, really thin it out. I really wanna like really thin it out and sort of fill in a lot of the little itty bitty ridges, if that makes sense. Yeah, see that looks a little bit better. Like just thin out the poly gel to where it's like liquidy. Cause I don't think like the deep ridges really make it look like cotton candy. I think it makes it look like, I do not even know, honestly. All right, here it is for the most part. I'm gonna take off all the tape now. Wow, I mean, I guess it kind of does. He says glitter also. I don't know exactly what kind of glitter. I think since he's literally here, I should just go ask him. Let's go ask him. Hello. Hello. So for the cotton candy. Okay. You said glitter. Yes. What kind of glitter? Like holographic or like regular itty itty bitty or like chunky? Itty bitty. Okay. Kind of like sugar crystals. Okay. 
I dug through my stuff and I found these, so. Okay, he said this one, we can do that. I decided to just touch up this one right here. Cause I felt like it was like missing us like a little space. So just needed to add that little bit. So I think we should just put the glitter on and then we can draw on the, I guess it'd be like the comb, the handle, the stick, whatever. So for that, I'm just going to grab top coat Okay, honestly, I'm nervous with this glitter. I don't want the glitter to get everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna just put top coat on this. As he said, it's supposed to be glossy. I don't think we'll need much. And then I'm just gonna grab like a tiny bit. These are some iridescent ones. I don't know if you guys can see. No, I don't think you guys can see it, but they are a little bit iridescent, which I like. They shift to like a light purple blue. I'm gonna cure that now. Okay, you can't tell me that they don't look a little similar at least. I think the drawing does look better, but I think we're actually on like a good roll here with this one. So I'm just going to re-top coat everything here. I'm gonna try to make sure I get in every little itty bitty crevice. I'm glad I put that tape because you can see right here, it's like not touching my skin, even though it would be like on my cuticle a little bit, which I'm glad I did that. Now let's work on the stick. And I'm just going to paint the entire thing white. Now for the blue, I'm just going to use this one. And now let's draw on these lines. Shouldn't be too hard, I hope not. Alrighty, we're pretty much done with this nail, except we just have to make the stick part matte. And here's the cotton candy. To be honest, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks so similar to the drawing. So next, we must move on to our popsicle nail. I am not exactly sure how to go about this. Okay, so for this one, I grabbed a square tip. So I'm just going to measure this out. So to start this, I'm gonna do this one a little bit different since I need to drill into it and create that bite. I'm just really quickly going to buff the top like that. And then I'm gonna grab this so that we can sort of work on it a little bit. I'm gonna just use a tiny bit of this little sticky stuff though to put this on there because I'm gonna need to take it off in literally just a second. So I buffed it and because I touched it with my grubby fingers, I'm gonna just wipe it with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm gonna start off by putting a matte top coat on here. We have our matte top coat. This is the sticky stuff I use, by the way, to hold on my little stands here. It came with the stands, I will link it below, but other than that, I don't know where to get it. Probably just Amazon. How did I lose the tip? Oh, I found it. Haha. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit of that sticky stuff on my nail, just so we can hold it on there for literally a minute. So we have this on and I stole one of David's markers. I asked him for like a really fine tipped one. And I'm going to actually mark out where I want to cut off the length and also where we want to do the bite. I think this long would be a little too long for it since we are gonna add the popsicle stick. I think I'm gonna cut it off around here. Well, maybe a little bit sooner. Like that. And then the bite, I think it's gonna need to be a little bit and a little bit more. It's also fine if I draw on this, all of this is getting covered up, so it does not really matter. I think I know where, I think it'll be easier to do it actually drilling. So I'm gonna just pop that off and I'm gonna smush this really hard into here so that it'll stay. And I'm gonna use this tip to get our teeth marks. Last time I talked about this drill, I had so many of you say that you also got it and you love it too. And I'm so glad you guys also thought so. Oh God, I'm nervous about this, okay. Okay, what do we think about that? Okay, it's kind of hard to tell with my marks on there, but I think it actually came out 
pretty good. I'm gonna file it a little bit more once I put on the other stuff because once I put on the other stuff, I'm gonna need to like redefine it. But that's pretty much good for there. I am going to just clip off some of this length now. There we go. I was able to wipe off any of the black. So now we're gonna put this on. I'm not gonna lie, the bite looks really, really cute. My bite would never look like this, like so even. I was at the dentist the other day. I always open things with my teeth and hold things with my mouth when I probably shouldn't. Anyway, so my teeth are kind of jagged and I told the dentist I looked feral and he laughed while trying to disagree. So I think I'm right. I feel like the sides are a little bit shaped a little bit more, like a little rounded. And so I'm gonna do that. Since we went through all of that prep work, I'm gonna just put a base coat on here. I am going to use poly gel again for this. We could absolutely just use gel polish, but since we need to sculpt out a little drop and I want the stick to look like it's like coming out of the middle and not like just a little bit under, um, we're gonna use poly gel. So don't hate me. We're gonna use one from my kit again. I will link other poly gels that my cart have that are the most similar to the colors that I have in my kit. That way you can still get pretty much, you know, a close look. There can only be so many shades of things. So I'm just going to put that on like so. I'm not wanting it to be super thick. I just want just a general base of the poly gel on, especially like imagine this one just super thin and then there's this one, yeah. Since I do want this to be like super, super smooth, I am just going to use some base coat on top as a little bit of a slip to just really smooth it out super easily. I feel like I'm putting off doing the little drip, but let's do it. Again, I'm gonna use the same thing that I did earlier with just covering up my skin using the washi tape. Okay, I think we're pretty good on that part. Okay, sorry for not talking much, uh, much. I was really trying to concentrate on here. This is pretty thin, but I think it's like a good shape. So I'm gonna cure it and add a little bit more on. Okay, so I have this. Let's try to take the tape off now. Perfect. Okay, so it actually worked really well. I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to do a little bit of filing to clean it up and then we will redo the teeth marks. Okay, so here it is. I feel like I need to just stop with the filing because I feel like I just keep doing it more and more and more and at some point I'm gonna ruin it. I feel like, I don't know, the bite doesn't look great, but it does look like a bite. Like it does look like what it's supposed to be. It's not perfect. It's not the perfect bite, but it's all right. And then I think the drop looks really good as well. Next, I'm going to make the stick. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of poly gel here on a form and then just sculpt it out that way. I don't know how long this will last or the stick when you have really sort of thin pieces hanging off of things. Generally, I would say they probably don't last amazing, you know, and of course David doesn't wear <laughs> long nails. So that's not something he's going to think about when creating a design like this, which is fine. Okay, hopefully you can see, here's the stick. I'm gonna cure it. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if I want the curved one right there or the flat. It's gonna be a little hard to file. Never would I have ever thought when I started doing nails is that one day I would be sitting here trying to make a miniature popsicle stick. I'm gonna make like a little divot in the back of my nail right here for the popsicle stick to sort of go inside. Okay, behold, the mini popsicle stick. I'm gonna put it in like right here. 
I feel like painting it while I have to hold it is like kind of hard, but I guess I could try. So I'm gonna paint this before we put it on and hopefully that'll be better. As you can see, I had to pull out the pliers because there was just no way I could hold this like with my fingers. And then he clarifies that this should be matte. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm again, just gonna put this matte top coat on while we have it like this, so much easier. I actually have a little bit of a color change we're gonna do to the popsicle just because I was looking at it and I was looking at the picture and it's not quite as vibrant as I would want. Yay, popsicle stick. I'm just gonna set that over here, hopefully. I feel like it's the right color, but th this isn't quite as bright as I would like. So I am gonna look at a couple. First one, this one actually matches my shade from my poly gel kit almost exactly. So if you missed that or you wanted them in gel polish colors, this is light teal. I've been digging all over my vanity room trying to find a color that's a bit brighter than this to match the color he used and I cannot find one really so I'm gonna try to make it. This one's a little bit too light, this one's obviously too dark, has a lot of sparkle but I'm hoping that if I just put like a little bit into this we can make it a bit better and the sparkle won't be like too crazy. I actually think that's gonna work but a bit more. Did we really think we were gonna get through a draw my nails video without me having to make a custom? I almost feel like it's almost like it's a little bit of green. Okay, I felt like it needed a tiny bit of green. So this one is Peach Face. That's an interesting name. I've never heard that, those two words put together before. Is it something, like is it an actual thing it's named after? I don't know. We're actually getting there, we're getting somewhere. Okay, I think that actually matches so much closer. And if it doesn't look much closer in the camera, you'll definitely see when I do like the comparisons at the end. Oh yes, that is so much better. Like I love my turquoise-ish, you know, light, light blue shade, but I just felt like it was a little bit too light for this. But this one is much brighter. I think I would absolutely have regretted if I didn't amp up the color a little bit. Then I'm just cleaning up our little bite marks because some gel flowed into them. Make sure they're crisp. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then I wanna paint on the little drips that he put. So I'm going to just put this sort of like more grayish color here and mix a little bit of the current color just to get like a little bit of like a more muted, something like that going on so that we can draw that on. Or nope, we're not going the right direction. Dare I do it? We'll see. That color will work. I'm just gonna take a thin line brush. Okay, I'm gonna cure that and then we'll top coat it and attach our popsicle stick and we'll be done with this one. Top coat time. And remember, you don't wanna cure gel on your skin. I am being so incredibly careful with that little drip. Like I'm putting it basically just on top where it could have possibly touched me. And I think I've done good because you guys know my cuticles get so red for absolutely no reason and they're not red, which means I've done good with not getting any gel or anything on. To attach the popsicle stick, I am just going to put a bunch of glue, like a good amount. And then I'm just going to let that dry so David just came to check on me. I'm hiding my nails though. And what is the, so we're on the cake one though. He doesn't know, he hasn't seen anything, but what is the cake one? It, it's a shiny El Creamy, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't realize that, that was what the cake one was based off of. Okay, so I did just go ahead and put this tip on since it's the same thing every time. You guys know the drill. So to start off on this cake, and you guys heard David say what it was inspired by. So I did not know that. <laughs> He did not tell me that. I am going to just cut out for the tiered cake. Okay, so I feel like the first layer, we basically are gonna just cut out a little bit like that. And then for the third layer, we go in a bit more. That looks like a good plan to me. And it looks like you can tell from the front because sometimes the corners, you might not be able to tell. If I need to go in a little bit more, I can. I'm gonna just cure that. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to just plan the same. Okay, I think that'll, that'll be good. Snip, and then okay that looks good so we can see that difference from the front great so I'm just gonna file these a little bit to make them a little bit more even to make them completely straight for things that couldn't be like cut off 
I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this length off because the top layer is not that thick. There we go, much better. I'm really happy with this shape so far. I'm just going to buff everything so that everything sticks as, as it should. These do be some sharp edges though. Like, I hope I don't scratch myself. Okay, I just wanted to map that out really quick. Base coat, even though yes, I did map out the other stuff in gel. That doesn't matter, we're fine. So before David told me that this was inspired by like an actual cake for El Creamy. So I saw this, right? Okay, and it totally makes sense now with what he was going for in this. I was gonna just draw it on because I was like, it's just like a three tiered cake. But since it's this, I am going to use more poly gel and sculpt and sort of raise some of the frosting because I feel like if I just painted it on, it wouldn't look right. I feel like it makes it so much harder for me to do it this way, but I would rather do it and it'd be like way more accurate than do it the other way. I pulled out this poly gel. I don't know which kit it's from. I'll figure it out when I link everything, but it's just like this really nice, like light, light white gray, which I really like. And I had never even used it before or swatched it. So I was like, huh, where did this come from? Since I never even swatched it. And you guys know when I usually do like a kit review, I'll swatch them all. So I don't know, this wasn't even opened. Whenever I was playing through Pokemon Shield, this was one of my favorites. Obviously I did not pay attention that much because I didn't recognize it. I evolved mine to be the pink one, of course. And it was so cute. I'm sure you guys can hear that rain. It's a lot, it's just a lot. It's been raining a ton here in Nashville. I remember one time I was visiting from Portland when I was living in Portland. We, I was in Huntsville, but you know, similar area. And they're like, can you believe that we actually get more rain? And I was like, no, but yep, we do. We get more rain, which I did not realize. I mean, I like it. I like the rain. Since I grew up in New Mexico, we like never got rain. So it's nice to have rain. So I have some poly gel on. I have not cured it yet. I wonder if I can find some like string or something. I want like an indent of where each tier goes. I'm just gonna dip this cuticle thing in some alcohol and then just make that cut. I do want it to be like distinct layers. Now I'm gonna cure it. I'm gonna do a little bit of filing just to crisp up everything. So I will be right back. Okay, just all cleaned up. The rest of it should be actually fairly easy to do. I thought that this one was gonna be really hard, but um, we're pretty much just coloring a lot of it in. I'm gonna need lots of white, especially. I should have closed that, that's my bad. I'm gonna color all of this white. It's okay if this white right here isn't perfect because we have to go over with black and black will of course cover everything. This white by McCart is pretty thick so I am just doing like the thinnest coat I can and then just wiping extra off. That way we can still see like the divots that I did for each layer because otherwise there would have been no point in doing the divots. Okay. Why it doesn't look great by itself on here, but trust the process, still have lots to do. White for down here as well. Now I'm gonna do the black. I'm gonna try to get like a crisp line for this. Perfect, that looks so clean, I'm happy. I pulled out the two pink shades, Mandarin and Toucan, and we are just going to finish up the drawing aspect of these nails. So all I really have to do is draw on the heart. I don't know if that was meant to be a decal, but I'm gonna draw it on. So I'm just gonna do a heart and try to center it the best I can. I don't wanna do this heart too big, but also I have to fit another heart in there. That will have to do. Now we have to do the second heart, which will be twice as hard as just doing the first one. My hands are all shaky because it's been quite a while. So next we have all decals, but I think I'm going to mix a little bit of the black and the white to make a really, really light gray. And I'm gonna differentiate 
the tears but i just feel like putting on the, the rhinestones and stuff like won't work as well if you can't see the different tears you know Alrighty, now our cake is almost done now we just have to add all the decorations so i pulled out a ton well let's start with the star i brought out these little stars that kind of look like candy from the sweet cravings kit from a cart and thankfully i do have a yellow star i don't know where the rest of them went but <laughs> Before we do that, I'm going to top coat everything. Then I'm gonna grab out my rhinestone glue. I'm gonna put a little dab there for the star. And actually, before I put the star on, I'm gonna choose which side it's gonna be on the back. And I am going to just rough it up a tiny bit. This will help your decal stay on if you have a problem with that. I know I always say this, but it's just like been so helpful for me to just lightly do that to any decal you're about to put on it will help them stay so much longer smooth does not really stick to smooth yee okay next i have this bow and this was the only one that i had that was like a solid color so we're gonna have to actually paint it before we put it on and this is gonna be one of the only things i kind of change up i'm gonna do it in a light purple instead of that like really dark purple looking at the pictures it looks a little bit lighter than that and once again he is colorblind so um <laughs> it's a hard time differentiating purple shades and i just think that the lighter purple will go a little bit better i'm not really like a big fan of the purple shade that he chose on like anything let's add this charm now i think it's gonna be a little too big but what you gonna do you know um uh oh well i'm gonna do it like that just so you can see that little bit of a top layer so i'm honestly a little torn for the rhinestones next to the star because i have these little ones which are kind of iridescent and definitely like more white and then i have these bigger rhinestones what rhinestones that are white but iridescent i mean i guess i'll use rhinestones since I'll be using rhinestones for the other ones. I'm just gonna put two small little dots. Hopefully this is what he was talking about. If not, I do not know. I can't tell you the last time I saw a white rhinestone. Like I know they exist, but I just have never needed one, I guess. I know he said iridescent, but I don't have any that are like this one with the white backing. So I'm gonna use these iridescent pink ones. I think that it'll go well with like the pink and purple. And even though on the drawing there's different sizes for these, I'm just gonna use all this little one because there's not that much room on this nail to do that. Do try to smooth out the line from that gel a little bit. There we go. And then we got quite a few to do now. So I'm just going to spread this glue over this entire area and then just smooth it out a little bit and put a little bit of a top coat on top. You know what I'm wondering if I should use? Hold on. These little things. Whoa. No, I think we should use rhinestones. It was worth a try though, right? I think it was. Yeah, the rhinestones definitely look better. I think I can put the rhinestones on this like layer, but other than that, I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put them like down here and up here. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, honestly. Churros, like, how do I wanna put a churro on my nail? I don't know, I, d I don't know, I don't know. So I went and pulled out this one and I thought that this was a pretty good color for a churro. So I'm going to just put on a quick base coat then I'm gonna put on this like I would normally and try to make it just as smooth as possible. Like as if we were just covering the nail. Also, he's so extra. He made sure to put like the inside needs to be the different from the outside. So we have to make sure that it's thick enough at the end that we can show like an inside color. Time for some base coat to just really smooth this out. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm wiping that off. I think I am going to do the divots with an e-file. I don't really know how else. I guess I could try to do it that way. I didn't really want to sculpt it out. I think that would have been honestly so hard. Just like getting that one spot is going to be kind of hard. Yeah, I'm going to try it with the e-file. I'm going to keep that same bit. I think that'll do best. I had to stop really quick because I think it's gonna work, but I need to plan out the lines before. I can't just like freehand file lines. Like who, I, I can't do that. 
someone could do that. I'm just gonna add a little bit back and smooth that out once again. So these lines do not have to be perfect. They just have to help guide the e-file because it's not that easy to just like file directly into the nail that way. Okay, now I'm gonna retry that. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot. I'm dying to wipe off all of the dust. I mean, I don't, I guess it's a churro. Like I think it needs, of course, like other coloring. Time to mix more stuff. Okay, so I think I'm going to mix some micas. This is, I think the only like gold itty bitty glitter I have. So I think I'm just gonna make like two different sort of colors to sort of go in there because I don't know I think I like need to capture like the sugar and the cinnamon and stuff like that and I don't know exactly how to do that without just sort of making a bunch of these I also have this color which I think I'm going to sort of line in between Woo! and put a little oh my god that's gonna be so much I'm just going to line the inside of these with cookie. It is pretty much the color of this poly gel, but that's fine. Just it got a little bit thin when I was filing. Okay, I'm gonna start using some of this nice, like sort of golden color. <gasps> Look at how pretty that looks. Okay, and then I am kind of just rubbing a little bit of the gold one on sort of like the other spaces. I'm gonna use some of this gold glitter on this churro nail that's not turning out great. Honestly, I felt, I felt like this one was gonna be the hardest one though, cause like, how do you even put a churro on a nail? Like, I am not, I don't know. That's just, I can't. I feel like I truly did my best for it. Probably could have been a little bit neater with the lines, but that was honestly pretty hard to like carve. Then the gold glitter that I'm gonna kind of just like sparsely put on. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put our last and final top coat on the churro one. Honestly, a little sad about how it came out, but I also didn't have like a solid plan of what I was gonna do. I just feel like it's like a pretty hard design to be honest. But next we're going on to what I think will be the easiest design. I hope so anyway. We are almost done. For the red, I'm gonna use red flags from Kiara Sky. I'm not taking it down all the way because we're gonna cover it up with chocolate. This one is pretty sheer though, so I do have to do like two or three coats. I'm gonna do a bunch of little itty bitty black seeds. For the chocolate, I am going to color it with gel, but first I'm just going to like squeeze it into place using this gel, it's just like a clear. Like that, I think. Kinda thick, kinda goopy. It's supposed to be like 3D. Then I'm gonna use brownie from Femi's kit. Some of that red is coming through a little bit. So I am just going to put a little bit of another coat on. So here we have this. I'm going to put just a sort of tiny little bit of rhinestone gel here at the top. Looking at this now, I should have done the chocolate a little bit lower. I feel like anyone who does their own nails knows by like a certain time you kind of like check out a little bit. And honestly, it's been, I think almost nine hours that I've been doing this. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little checked out. I probably should clarify that if I was not filming it, it would not take me nearly as long, but filming just takes quite a long time. He has certain rhinestones on the picture, but I do not have ones that shaped, but I do have ones shaped like um, a rectangle. I wonder if he saw these ones and thought that they were like a triangle shape. I kind of did too. I sort of thought, great, like I have those. He must have seen because he puts away my nail stuff a lot of the time for me. He probably knew what I had. I mean, these ones technically both have four sides. It's fine. And I think we're gonna be done. I am just gonna put on a little bit of cuticle oil everywhere. 
and my hands are super crusty after just putting rubbing alcohol on them all day long. So here they are. I think the popsicle one came out the best to be honest. So I'm just gonna give a rundown of my opinions of all of these really quick. I think the cotton candy came out super cool. It looks super similar to his drawing, which is really good. The popsicle I think came out the absolute best and I think it's super cool looking. The cake came out okay, definitely has its tears, but isn't the best. I kind of ran out of room on it. The churro, I don't know, you can tell me if it looks like a churro or not. I think it kind of does, but then it also kind of doesn't. I don't know, let me know. Strawberry. Um. I probably should have definitely did way more red, a lot less chocolate. <laughs> now that we're finally done, let's go show him. Those look so good. Oh my God, look at those. Oh, that looks really good. This one's so cute. I love this. And it's a churro in a chocolate dish. These are really good. <laughs> They look so good. Look Thank at you. those. Oh wow. Do you like them? I Do you love think they those. turned out like you thought? I think they turned out better than I thought. They look amazing. Wait, which one did you say is your favorite? This that one, one? By far. That one's your favorite? I love it. Really? Yeah. That one? Why why? I don't know. I just that one I felt like wasn't as accurate. I love that one. I think it looks so good. I had forgot to film an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'm ready to do next week's nails. So watch out for those. And once again, thank you so much McCart for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate all the support that they give me and I'll see you guys later. Bye.